Today we have a somewhat funny but somewhat sad topic of cheaters. Cheaters are something that exists in every industry. It is something that exists in every facet of life. And today we're going to share a uh, story shared with me by a colleague of mine, a previous colleague of mine, that um, was a little bit bold, to say the least. I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've had the pleasure of visiting some of their campuses back when uh, in Provo, and it was a beautiful campus. I, I think they've moved to Lehigh in recent times. But if you're interested in a bootcamp that also provides housing so you can get up and go in web development, QA, iOS development, UI, UX, they got it all. Check them out at devmountain.com. So, um, you know, cheating is, as I mentioned, not a software dev thing, it's a person thing. Which is why something like, uh, I, I forget this, the studies, but there's been studies showing that college students, something like the average college student admits to cheating, like m the majority, why they go through school. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. But like, then you have cheating in relationships, uh, which is a whole different thing. Then, then you just have cheating in life. You know, you have people breaking the tax codes, you have whatever it is. Today, the cheating that I want to talk about um, that really put a smile on my face um was and you, you know what's so great about these sorts of things when the story develops like um you know i was having uh playing some games uh playing uh, shards of infinity it's a little card deck game with my buddy and we're just talking shop right as uh you know i'm editing a video here playing a little card game here talking to him on uh, discord and uh he's telling me that, yeah man we got this guy 20 years experience um could barely reverse a string and basically couldn't do the fizz buzz type problem that they ask some pretty standard stuff and i'm like that's rough man they're like yeah um we're hurting for people so we decided to give him a shot it was against my interest but you know the other tech lead and so so forth uh, we wanted to get, they decided to give him a shot i don't think we should uh, mainly not because he didn't solve it but during the reverse a string they were talking about what the definition of reversing a string is and uh, specifically about how uh, a word can go forward and backward because he couldn't get the is a string the same <laughs> uh, but he could he could get it to reverse string and having this intellectual conversation about it to which he said I don't care what you think it is this is what I am asking you and he still continued to argue about it so I thought that was really funny and I thought it was even funnier that they gave him the role because it was um, the way he described it to me was very confrontational and so in their interview process in particular how they how they handle interviews is if they kill that section right then and there and they're afraid that they're going to lose the candidate they'll they'll make an offer based off that interview if they don't they'll sometimes go ahead and give you a take-home project you know it's just typically that's how it goes um, so the team decided, all right, let's, I know we tanked the interview for the most part. Let's give him the take-home project. Um, and uh, the, the, funny, the funny thing about this, so the take-home project isn't super advanced. I think it's about two to four hours, depending on how, how you do. And the point of a take-home project, if you're new, is to evaluate where your skill level is, to evaluate how you write code. Do you understand, um, you know, asynchronous code? Do you understand the clean, clean code principles, solid principles? Do you, you know, where are you at? Forget if you don't understand solid, forget if you don't clean code. Let's see where you're at. That's really what the point is. Uh, see how good you know JavaScript, TypeScript, Angular, React, whatever it is that you're working with, that is what it is about. So um, to which, <laughs> so I sent that, you know, or had the recruiter rather send that. Um, and by the way, I, I've taken this, so I, I know firsthand how... Uh, not difficult in my opinion it was um, I did I did well enough that they hired me right um, with I think I had one year experience at the time something like that um, anyhow so this gentleman of 20 years sends back an email of uh, saying you know what I'd like to give you an assessment and you can take it so I can see where you're at um, to which it was copied and pasted from a email from a recruiter from a different job interview you know how they knew? Not only was the font 
<laughs> not only not only was the font and like all of it completely a different like you know some parts were bold and italic that didn't match the rest of the email so you could clearly see it was like copied out of um out of a, a PDF or something like that, but he included this. And this is what, this is what the thing with with cheaters in general is they don't cover their tracks because they're they're used to getting away with silly little things. So used to um, they're used to uh, being able to to just cheat by. And you know a lot of times it does happen, but occasionally because you're dumb, you go and you accidentally put in uh uh, uh the um the heading so like you know how you would put like dear dylan dear this this moron included that into this as if it wasn't already apparent enough so he was trying to get my my previous co-workers to do his take-home project so he could get a job at another company and um as someone who's been in a, a computer science program i can tell you at least i remember several of my courses where the people who were cheating were so dumb they forgot it was just the same thing the same thing except real world where they forgot to change you know, if you've ever taken a CS program, a lot of times what you'll do is you'll put a comment at the top of the thing, dating it, and putting your name on top of it. And maybe the assignment title in, in the comment section. So a lot of those same people in college forgot to take that out of there and submitted the same 20 people submitted the same project to which they all flunked the course. Um, this happened in more than one class, by the way, which is... Um, really shows you the level of, of stupidity when you keep on cheating, but you don't and you get caught, but then you get caught for the same thing. Um, and so this gentleman, who has 20 years experience, can't reverse a string, um, can't do fizz buzz. They give they give you a shot, say, you know, maybe he got nervous. We all get nervous in interviews. We can't, you know, maybe he just got, you know, we maybe he felt pressured and confrontational, whatever. Let's give him a shot. Decided that he was going to try to have some other people who can do um, things like that take the take the project. Now again, these things. And I, I, I can tell you that I get emails from some people I've mentored in the past who have said, hey, would you mind taking this take-home assessment with me? Uh, I'll pay you for your mentoring time, this and that. And I, I say, no, no, because I understand that you are eager to get your very first role. I understand that, like, you're like, oh, maybe I'll cut some corners and, like, we'll do it together, right? You paint this lofty picture in your head. But the, the truth of the matter is those things are there to... to to see where you're at and that's an important thing and it's also important for you to understand that you you don't want to go through life cheating i don't i don't care if people um hack the system i don't care if people um you know go and find loopholes i don't care if people go and work smart but those are completely different things than going out into the world and just copying and pasting somebody else's code and trying to be malicious about it and trying to see. So if you are one of those people, what will happen? And it's usually, and it, we have this sort of silly joke that I didn't believe it was sort of true until I just interviewed candidates is that the, um, the more years of experience a candidate has, typically the worse they do in interviews. Um, some of that is, it's sort of this crazy catch-22 thing where a lot of the good developers naturally get promoted. And so what you end up seeing is that the, the companies that value their devs hold on to them long term. And part of the way they're able to keep a dev past that 18-month mark is because they take them from junior, they go to senior or mid, and then senior, and then they go tech leader, then they go manager. They're constantly finding ways to give them raises, to increase their benefits, to increase their title so that they can hold on to them. And then the people who are left behind are the people that they don't really care about often too much. And so a lot of times when we'd be interviewing people with decades of experience and they say, I've been doing JavaScript 15 years. Cool. What's a promise? <laughs> uh, um, great. Um, I need you to evenly devise this number from zero to a hundred by five print it out can't do it we're struggling here a little bit man we're struggling all right all right you say you know angular great what's a directive what's a pipe what's a service it's, these are these are real situations we've all had to sit through and part of that is because a lot of these people are cheating a lot of these people are are um, and companies are so desperate they're looking for warm bodies a lot of time where they just even know what a variable is Throw them in there, coach. 
throw him in there um you know and so anyhow the reason i bring this up do i do i care about this guy and and my colleagues i find it kind of funny um they didn't when they got that email i have no doubt um you know do i do i care about people from college that were cheating and doing all that no not really what i'm trying to tell you is that for your career goals for what type of person you want to be for where you want to go in your career that you cheating i'm not talking about cutting corners i'm not talking about being smart i'm not talking about hacking the system all that sort of stuff find a way to succeed in a a way that makes you a better developer that's what i'm talking about when you just cheat like this you're not becoming a better developer you're probably becoming a worse developer and you're um you know you're lowering your self-worth uh, in a business sense and as an individual so i wanted to talk about that mainly because i found it sort of funny but i think it's a it's a life lesson about you know if you if you sort of take the easy way out the real easy way out um you know you you're gonna suffer the consequences where you can't get a good job with 20 years experience is crazy to sound now there are plenty of i and one thing i want to say is there's plenty of great devs with 20 years experience but you know what great devs with 20 years of experience that are senior devs they're not looking for jobs they're staying at the companies because they just like their job they found a good groove they you know they have and in 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 theory they're still a senior dev but they probably are playing a tech lead role they, they're happy they don't need to look for a job because they're good um you know but anyhow so that's today's video i hope you enjoyed it as always if you're interested in any of my courses check out the links in the description below and uh i'll see you guys next time like subscribe share fall uh no notification bell that's the thing bye guys hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers i i actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well there's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.